Welcome to this session of OWS Video FAQs. Today we will be discussing how to use OpenEyes mobile application. It's a great app. So let's get started. After you've successfully downloaded the OpenEye mobile app, go ahead and launch it. Once you've launched it, you'll be asked to put in your login and password to OWS, and I'll do that now. Press next, and then enter your password. Once you've successfully entered your login and password into the mobile app, it will then take you into the place where you can select the company you'd like to look at. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the company. Once the company's been selected, then I can choose the recorder, just like you would in OWS. With the recorder being chosen, it'll default now to a six camera grid and you'll see your live views, all right? And you can go to the next page to see other views as well. This is only a seven camera system. Now, down here in the lower right, you can select the grid sizes and choose different grids. So I could do this in a quad and then have the remaining cameras here, or I could select this as just two and have these stacked up like this and can rotate from picture to picture. Let's go back to six. If you wanna go ahead and look at these full screen, simply tap on an image and you'll be directed full screen. And at that point in time, you can go ahead, turn your phone sideways, see a little bigger view, okay? You can also then press the bars and change your streaming quality, okay? Boost up your streaming quality and do some more intensive zooming, etc. Very powerful here. Tap the image again, and it'll take you back to the grid that you were last on. So it's very easy to navigate your live viewing. If you wanna search and do playback, simply select search, and that'll take you into a very simple search screen where you can basically put in the date and the time, and then say search and it will bring up playback for all of those cameras in the grid that you said. Simply hit the play button, and it will begin to play those videos for you. Okay, and again, you can go ahead and zoom in on one, or stay in your quad, or go back to a six. Forwards, backwards, etc. very nice there. Okay, you can also go ahead and download snapshots of any images you want to as well, as, well, as I just showed here, and it'll bring these images down for you, okay? So that's just a couple of things that you can do. While you're in playback mode, you can go ahead and speed up things here in the lower right. You've got pluses and minuses. You'll see it goes from two to four, back to two, back to one. All right, and you can reverse direction and do the same thing as well. Very straightforward. All right, now, the other thing we can do now is if we press search, we can go to what's new is event searching. All right, so here we have motion events, sensor events, and analytic events, okay? So perhaps we wanna see some line crossings. We can go ahead and select line crossed, okay? And then we can say search. And this is gonna bring up any of the line crossings that have happened recently and you'll see them here. Now, if I highlight one, you can actually see that there are some snapshots that will show you the progress as somebody comes down the stairs. And that's really nice. If you wanna go into the playback, you can simply go ahead and hit play and go into your playback. And again, all of these controls will then be at your fingertips. So it's very, very easy to do. Okay, you can go back to your events list and then find the next one as well. It's very straightforward and it's very easy to do. If we go back here from search, back into the main search screen, you can always come in here, change the date and time that you wanna look for, okay? And you can get those ranges better for you, all right? And then again, you can always go back to date and time as well and do your straight up searching from here. If you get notifications, which I have, you can go ahead and open those up, all right? If there's an event you're interested in, you can press down on that event and it'll take you in so you can see the preview and the snapshot or you can slide to the left and save view. This will go ahead and it's gonna go out and it's gonna bring us up a snapshot of the event, all right? So here's our loitering event again from earlier. And from here, if I want to watch this video, all I have to do is say view video. And it's gonna drive me right in 
to the OpenAI mobile application, and it'll go right inside of our playback. All right, and then I can play this back. Again, once you're inside a playback here, it's outstanding. If you want to change the quality of your video, you can do that on the fly. Uh, you can go ahead and turn things sideways and again, zoom in. All those kind of neat things can all be done and from the mobile side of things. Now, you all notice that I did have quite a few line cross notifications. That's on purpose. I wanted to illustrate a point. If I came in off hours on a Saturday and I was up and down the stairs doing things, I might get inundated with line cross alerts. What I can do is from my mobile app, I can actually go into my settings and I can actually go ahead and I can turn that off. So if I wanted to do my line cross, I can. Boom, I can turn it off. When I leave the building, I can turn it back on. So it's sort of like a virtual snooze, really a neat little feature. This concludes this video FAQ. Join us again for more interesting videos from OpenEye, the cloud video platform.